Greetings, peeps. Today we're going to fix this. The operator busted again. This is what I got. I ordered this on Amazon. Uh, should be exact replacement for what I already have in there. If you guys watched my older videos, two years ago I put one of these in and this has been broken for about a year now. I haven't been really using this window much, but I want to replace the winder because every time I close the van door, this thing pops open. And also, that's kind of bad to have going on while you're driving. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the window out. It only takes five minutes. And I'm gonna replace the winder and we'll see if that fixes the problem. Now, unfortunately, it looks like the one they sent me is used. You know, I had this problem before where I went on eBay and I bought the part off eBay and it looked used. In this case, again, it definitely looks like it's been used. Now, that's kind of messed up, but I bought this like a month ago, a month or two ago. It's too late to return. So we're just gonna put it in and hope it works. So on the inside, I have a screen. This is a vinyl screen. And I also have no seam netting behind the screen. And then I have a green filter for filtering out dust. So I'm gonna have to pull all this out, but first I'm gonna open the, the window, which the window winder still does work. It doesn't work to hold it closed. It does hold it open. So we're gonna put it in the open position and then take the screen out, which comes out really easy. And then I have the you know, seam netting, which is all tucked up in there. That's a real pain in the butt to put back in, but I need to at least get this much of it down so I can access the winder. And then I have the green filter stuff, which is all jammed in there. Try to keep the bugs out and the dust out. So we're gonna go ahead and pull that out too. I'm gonna put it on the outside because it is full. You just see it's like a giant thing of dust just came flying in. Yeah, I need to take the whole window out. So I'll well just go ahead and... I think what I'll do is I'll take the opportunity to hose that out too. Try to get all the dust out of it. And there we go. We have access to the winder itself, which is held in with two screws. So the next thing I need to do is take these little clips off. There's little clips on each side of the window that hold them on. And you just use a screwdriver to take that out. Now I'm gonna take the opportunity to wash the screen because I don't know if you can see that or not, but it is filthy. And this has a two years worth of grime in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash this out too. You can buy this filter material at like Home Depot or Lowe's. It works really well for getting out like some of the dust when you have your fan on. I'm also gonna, that's full of dirt too. I'm gonna go also and rinse this out. So these windows are made by a company called Hair, H-E-H-R, and they're popular for van conversions. So many of you may have these windows and you realize how bad these winder mechanisms are. So what I need to do next is get up there with this clip and use a screwdriver to take them out and hopefully do that without losing the clip. There's one. And then I'll put this in my pocket so I don't lose it. I noticed the spring came off too. It happens a lot. It's kind of hard to see. Oh, there we go. Pull it the wrong way. And there's the other clip right there. Fit in my pocket. And at this stage, you just pop the arm off like that. Do the same to the other side, and then the window. The window lifts up and comes right off. So in this case, I need to close it to get to access to the screws here. So I got a screw up there and a screw here that I need to take out. There she comes out. Another thing you need to do is take the knob off. I can't even see what I'm doing here, but take off the knob. There we go. 
And if I remember correctly, I gotta take this side off as well to get the whole bar to come out. So, yeah, this is never fun. Do that from the outside. All right. Basically just... There. And the whole sucker comes out. This literally just slides right out. You can actually see in here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. The casing split. Yeah, that thing's totally busted. Now be careful because this ends. The ends will slip, slip off, and you'll lose them. There we go. There's the old part. So putting in a new part is exactly the reverse of taking it out. So I'm not going to film that. I think you can kind of figure it out from there. This goes back up in there. You screw it in. You put the rod in. You put the window on with the clips. Bada bing. You got a new window winder and a working window again. Hope you enjoyed this video. Till next time. Odin commands you to like and subscribe. And clean my litter box. Ooh. Alrighty, let's not do that. Hey, thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe, share, and like. And we'll see you guys next time. Say hi, Odin. Brando Fury, RV Golf Guy, Joe Lazaro, Pat.